Is my PSVR 2 headset still broken? Well, to be honest with you, I don't know yet. We're going to find out in this video. You guys and girls have been asking me in so many of the comments from other videos, what's going on with the PSVR 2 headset? Is it fixed yet? Is it still broken? The honest answer is I, I work full time, so I haven't had as much time to play on the PSVR 2 as I would have liked. And finally, I'm able to sit down now in a really well lit area. So I'm completely lit here and I've rescanned the room. I've stood up and scanned the room as well. And we've got the infrared light on. So this should be like a pretty good indication of what's going to happen. I've turned off the preview screen as well. So many of your comments have been super, super, super helpful. And I've got a little bonus trick up my sleeve as well. If we still have some of the shaking. So just to confirm what's been going on previously. And we'll, still, we'll see if it's still the case. Is the, my vision has been shifting in PSVR 2. Stuff that should be locked has been shifting. Imagine in this view now. If the in-game view was slightly rotating. Even though the headset was saying, saying that's what's been happening. I've been seeing it when I've been doing the blue triangle. So without any further ado, let's get this headset on and let's see what's going on. So I'm going to put it on like this. Back in the VR world. Here we go. It's great to be back. And I've really missed doing Gran Turismo 7 in PSVR 2. I have to say, let me get my controller here. Um, make sure that's in. Okay, so we can move around. So the issues before have been looking down. Let's see. And I can see there, again, there's a little bit of shifting. This should be a really good indication of what's going on because you've got this um, pattern on the floor. So you should be able to see any shifts that are not matching up with my headset, which you also have. That's completely fine. And actually, that's completely fine. Wow, that was all absolutely one-to-one. -one. I felt like there was a little shift there. But looking like that, I felt that was all one-to-one. -one. Now, my only thing... Let me show you on the pass-through, by the way. So this is a pass-through. You can see that that monitor's off. I've got that light on a softer light. I'm really well lit there. We've got more space here. And then the concern I have is this microphone here. That's what I think might be throwing this off and that's why I've got a little bonus to fix. Let's get inside the car and have a look. So hands on the wheel. This is really easy to tell if there's any shifting. And you can see there, there is definitely shifting. Can you see here in the video how I'm getting pulled forwards and backwards? Can you definitely see that 100%? I'm getting shifted doing a very ordinary pan from left to right which is really 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 weird and annoying again some more shifting i'm gonna look down now and a massive shift and another massive shift you can see here i've, I've identified here this is where the shift is this is the big VR disconnection that I have at the moment. Okay, so we still have the issue, but I have a fix up my sleeve. I'm going to take this off actually. So the fix up my sleeve is, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely very well lit now. I don't think there's any kind of, I, I don't think I can do much more on the lighting here. Um, I also don't have the LED lights on in case they were flickering. I don't have the preview screen on in case that was a tracking issue. Um, and we just got we got loads of lights. We we have about four lights on in here lighting me up but i suspect that this microphone which i need to be able to create these videos is potentially causing an interference that's my hunch so when i go down like that it the camera might be kind of if you imagine here tracking this and then it looks under and it ends up tracking something further away and that might be causing the shift but i recall there wasn't as much this way but maybe it's when i go this way there was a tracking so by the way, a lot of companies and people out there have been watching these videos and um, uh, sending a lot of stuff over, which is awesome. If you want to send stuff over for me to review or for me to just look at, then there's my business email in the uh, description below. And a massive shout out to Antline Audio, who sent over this. This is the Mod Mic. Mod Mic. Um, they haven't paid me anything. Um, they ha haven't asked me to say anything. 
but they said, hey, look, this might fix your issue if you're worried about the microphone. So what I'm going to be able to do now is I'm going to be able to move this microphone completely out the way and have an un unimpeded space. And this comes with what looks to be a little 3M pad. And this is going to stick, I presume, to the side of my headset like that. So we're going to have a microphone there that should be out of the way of the camera. So using some editing magic, that's now going to happen. Okay, that was really simple to put on. I basically glued it on using the um, gluey thing that's already there. And I put the USB receiver in the PC. And now it's working. So now you're going to be getting both microphones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. And I'm actually going to push this microphone away to get it completely out of the way. I'm going to swing it like that. So now we're only on this microphone, which I can't hear, but you can hear. And now I'm going to put the headset on and we're going to see if that has fixed my tracking issues. This is the big eureka moment possibly. Let's find out. Right, let's get in the car. So you can see that's right by uh, my mouth, which is what I usually speak out of. So we're in the car now, looking left. My word, we've still got horrendous amounts of drift. So it's not that microphone. Hopefully the quality is good. I mean, I may still use this anyway, just to not have a microphone in the way. So if the quality is good, let me know in the comments if you think the quality of this microphone is any good. Then um, I can just use that as standard. Let me try and get up there. Might have been a bit muffled there. But yeah, that definitely hasn't fixed it, unfortunately, with my tracking issues. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do another scan. I'll do it from here so we can do it um, kind of live. So other settings, clear play area, yes. Um, set the play area again. Um, let's get the uh, actual ones out because I know quite a few people were saying in the chat, please use your actual controllers, which we're going to do. Although it is a bit of a visual glitch when you see it in the video, if you think that I haven't set the floor height correctly, because I have, it just looks a bit weird. So have a look at these blue triangles. They should really stick to where they're going. They shouldn't move around. You can see it's a bit of a clearer area today. And so far, actually, I haven't seen any shifting of the uh, blue triangles, which is great. I think it likes... I think it likes... I think it likes that the room is a bit brighter. Let's make sure we get this on here. Just need to, um, I'm having it a little bit further away because I'm wearing glasses there. I don't want to scratch the lenses, that's why. So we're good to go there. And to be honest, I haven't seen the same shifting with those, there we go. Do you see that shift there? And again. And again there. See this like horrendous shifting is just... That should not be moving at all. That is really off-putting. Oh my word, I thought we'd fixed it. Let me try turning this light off. Funny how small that controller looks. It looks tiny. <laughs> Look at it. All right, let's proceed anyway. Um, you can see here, this is the small difference it makes, see? So that's all I do on the left thumbstick is I just take it down a few centimeters. It's something you can only appreciate in 3D because on 2D it looks like these are above my leg, but in 3D it's very clear that they're below. 
So we're going to stay seated here. We're going to set a temporary play area here. So we can see when I'm going to be outside of it, which is absolutely great. No issues for me because I'm going to be on the wheel. So that should be fine. Now, if we go back into GT, the reason why I don't always use these, these don't work in GT. So a bit weird, but anyway, there we go. And now I'm going to reset our position. If I can remember the right button for that. There we go. So going to look left. I definitely feel with the mod mic, I definitely feel a lot freer, which is great. So I can see myself if the quality is good, 100% using this for VR content because I'm no longer worried. It's, it's actually incredibly free. Don't worry about that. And it's obviously very lightweight as well, so don't really notice it. You can see as I go up there, I kind of rise. I kind of rise. So I come up here and I'm a lot higher. Can you see? Look how high I am if I reset. That's where I should be. But as I lift my head up there, again, it just rises me. So it's losing tracking or gyro or something. Whoa! Jesus, what was that? Do you see? I just feel like it's busted. I feel like it's busted. Let me turn off the, um, the infrared. Let's go to a different game. I don't think that people have said I'll, I've got the same issue and it's GT7 specific. I would be very surprised if it's GT7 specific um, because it seemed to be an issue with the tracking camera. So let's go to another game. Let's see what we've got. Let's go to Swordsman. Get these on. Hopefully the videos, the audio is working. If so, massive thanks to Antline, because <laughs> I'm kind of completely in their hands now. Right, let's see here. Do we have any shifting here? I think we need to get into a area where I can be, uh, better lit, which might be this little tavern that we start in. So we're in this little tavern now. See, we've got some drifting still going backwards. I guess it's hard to tell because I'm not in a... Where's this cat? Ah, oh, where's the cat? What have you done with the cat? Okay. I can see your ankle. Yeah, you can clearly see quite a lot of shifting here. But especially as I go down. So I just feel like, everyone, it must be a defect. We're shifting quite a lot now. I feel like it must just be a defective unit. Um, my crystal here. So... It's really off-putting. It's really annoying. I don't want to return this because I could easily return it and get a new one. Pretty much, I would imagine, straight away from PlayStation. But I want to fix it for anyone that's watching these videos and who has spent their hard-earned money, who's maybe bought it second-hand that doesn't have the option of returning it. I want to be able to fix it. But I'm really struggling here because it seems to be some genuine fault with the headset that just wasn't there before because I'm very sensitive to, to these sort of things. I'm very sensitive to these, like, you know, small details. Being a streamer and, you know, having to get the audio visual exactly right. You know, I notice if something's at 58 frames a second and not 60, these sort of things. So I would have noticed it before, but after the update patch, it just absolutely came like a freight train. So, again, if you have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments. Please make sure you're subscribed if you want to follow the journey. The, f the, the the easy way out is to return it but I don't actually know I don't I don't know 
we're, we're really trying with this thing and i really want to do more psvr2 games just want to be playing all these games making videos showing you what they're all about but yeah i'm going to have to think of some other stuff let me know in the comments and i'll see you thanks so much for the support as well and i'll see you see you next time